I've been silent guys and I've sat back and I've even watched carnivore channels talk about what happened, you know, over the weekend with former president Trump and I keep hearing people talk about how it's the food, it's the food, it's the food. But guys, at some point, we've got to quit blaming every single thing on food, okay? I believe there's a bigger problem. I, I, I'm just, I'm a Christian, okay? I believe that there's a sin problem. And people don't want to always admit that. But there is evil in the world. There's good too, of course. But there's evil in the world. And I know that there's mental health issues. I'm not saying that there's not. But not everything that happens is because of something that people ate. And some people want clicks and views and stuff like that. But I feel like we would all be better off if we would pick up our Bibles more. Myself included. If we would, you know... Talk to God more. I don't know how you talk to God or how you pray. That's you, That's your personal choices on how you do that. But in a time like this, and I see, and I have political views, okay? But I don't care if you're on the left. I don't care if you're on the right. What happened the other day was horrible. To see that in our country, that's supposed to be you know, the the greatest country on earth to see something like that happen because someone's running for politics. And if it, it would be the same if it happened to uh, Joe Biden. That's horrible. It's horrible. And it's not necessarily because some food that somebody ate that, that caused that problem. Yes, I understand that food... You know, the different grains and all that different stuff can affect things. But guys, I know we're a carnivore community and I, I know how well I feel by eating meat. But that doesn't take away the fact that there's sin in this world. And it doesn't take away the fact that um, there's evil out there. And evil people are evil people regardless of what food they ate. Every single time I turn on the news or click on a YouTube video, it's always talking about the right's wrong because of this or the left's wrong because of this. And understand, there's some valid points on both sides. Okay, there's some valid points on both sides. And then there's some crazy things that get said about both sides as well. But man, at the end of the day, why is everybody not thinking about the man that lost his life, the husband that lost his life, and the family of his, the, the mother and the, and the daughter, they were both there whenever it happened. I mean, there's even a video out there that shows them squalling and crying and all this other stuff, and everybody's talking about how, oh, it's a miracle that President Trump didn't, uh, didn't take the bullet. I, I get what you're saying. But there's a man that was there to support Trump because he, you know, felt a certain way and he died that day. And we want to talk about, well, Trump this and Biden this and da, 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 da. We really need to be thinking about that man and his family because that man, he, he's no longer here with us and it's terrible. It's terrible. It makes me want to take a step back from politics for a while. You know, I have political views, like I say, but like when stuff like this happens, I'm just like, dude, like this is America. This is America. And this kind of crap happens. And I just want to take a step back and turn the TV off some and, you know, um, not get in as many debates with people because I have my views and other people have their views, but it's just sad that we have to watch this. And when my daughter's older, I'll have to tell her, yeah, I w that happened. And, you know, she was too young to remember it, but that actually happened because there's so much hatred in the world towards certain people. You know, we, we get 
talked up by all these media outlets that this person's bad and this person's good and da 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 da, da and people get so mad and so furious that they would do such a thing. They got so much hatred in their heart and they, they don't even know the person personally. The, the person that shot at Do uh, Donald Trump, he didn't know him. Probably never met him in his life. But because of what he heard from people, he's going to do something that stupid. And he didn't even um, uh, accomplish his goal and he shot an innocent man that had his wife and daughter there that watched the man, they saw him die. And we want to blame food. That, that That's what gets me is we want to blame food for that. Like for every time that there's some shooting or something, we want to say, it's the food that they ate. Food, yes, I understand that carnivore is great, okay? Otherwise, I'd be eating Big Macs right now. I understand that carnivore it has amazing benefits. But my Bible, when I read it, it talks about sin in the world and it talks about wickedness in the world and all that. And I know that people were tempted by food and they tried to tempt, and the Satan tried to, you know, um, tempt Jesus with food. And Adam and Eve, they ate of the fruit whenever, you know, they were forbidden from eating from that fruit. But also at the same time, there were other fruit in the garden that they were okay eating. So I don't want to be this carnivore channel that's like, everybody, if you, if you eat anything ever besides meat, like if you eat mushrooms, or if you eat pickles, or if you eat some low-carb veggie or some low-carb fruit on occasion, that I'm just going to flip out on you and guilt trip you i don't think that's the way we're supposed to be and you cannot tell me that our ancestors never ate a berry or never ate any fruit ever you cannot tell me that the problem to me is more processed food all the different fake crap on the aisles at the grocery store that's not real food if if we had all for the next 30 years, even if we ate fruits, nuts, berries, stuff like that for years and years and years. Now, I realize whenever the damage is already done, like I, uh, me weighing as much as I weigh, I don't need to have stuff like that right now because I'm trying to lose weight. But if I was already a small or normal weight and I was super healthy and I was active and I had a little bit of that stuff, I don't think it would be that big of a problem unless I had some autoimmune something that made it to where I couldn't. But there are channels out there that will condemn you if you eat one piece of lettuce. Not on my channel. Not on my channel. I want to show love to everybody. And that goes back to the politics side of things too. If you're a Democrat, I love you. If you're a Republican, I love you. We can be friends. I have my views. I believe in the flag. I believe in supporting the military, supporting the troops. Um, I back the blue. But whatever you want to believe, somebody died so that you could have the right and freedom in this country to, to believe whatever you want to believe and vote however you want to vote. But what happened the other day, that was terrible. That was, that is terrible. I'm only 31 years old. So that was the first time something like that happened in my lifetime that I can remember. And it's sad because if you, if you don't agree with um, someone that's running for office, you know what you do? You go vote for the other person. That's what you do. You go vote for the other person. You don't try to take somebody's life and then accidentally take somebody else's life 
That's why I'm so glad that, um, and I don't want to get into conspiracy theories and all this stuff because I know I've been hearing, well, the Secret Service did this and didn't do this. Blah, 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 blah. I'm glad that they took that fool out because what he done right there, I didn't want to see him go to court and all this stuff and have to sit in prison for life or whatever. I'm glad they took him out right there on the spot. He got exactly what he deserved because that was, that was dead wrong what he did showing up that day trying to do that. That's just my thoughts on it. And like I said, I've been trying to be quiet because I don't want to make my carnivore channel be a political channel, even though I have my opinions. Uh, but enough is enough, man. It's crazy what's going on. And I think that sin is a far bigger problem than what people realize. And evil is evil. And I hope you guys know that I love you. And God bless all of y'all for watching my videos. Thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. And remember that Jesus loves you. And if you, if you don't pray enough, right now would be a good time to pray. Because our country needs it. Our president needs it. Our former president needs it. Regardless of what you believe, they all need it. We all need it, and I appreciate it. For those of y'all that pray for me, I definitely appreciate it. And God bless y'all. Now let's continue this carnivore journey. God bless.